Are you thinking of moving to Korea soon? Well, we got you covered. We talk about what it's like to live in a Korean apartment. When it comes to the bathrooms, they very like small, very tiny, and uh, you could basically like sit on the toilet and take a shower at the same time. So I'm a little bit tall. Uh, I'm like one eight centimeters. Uh, I'm not sure what's that in, in foot or feet. One eight centimeters. 180 centimeters. I think that's like five nine. Really? Five eight. Okay. For me, it like you know. The shower head gets me like from midway down, so I've kind of figured out something and found a way to get the shower head from the top. There's not like a certain area in the bathroom that it's in. It's just kind of everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and so like that really threw me off yeah. because your whole bathroom gets wet mm. and that includes the toilet. Yeah. If you have like a small table to hold yeah. stuff, like that will also get wet. Yeah. And shower shoes are always the best. It must, yeah. yeah. When you have guests over and you just took a shower, it's, oh. it sucks. When you go into a Korean apartment, you take off your shoes. So you're usually walking on like your socks or like house shoes. So if, you, if you're walking with your socks on and you sort of forget that the bathroom's wet or if you're visiting a friend and their bathroom's wet, it's just unnecessary. You have to use like certain trash packets. They're usually green or white. White for the bigger ones and green for the smaller ones. You could obviously buy them at the local convenience store and so on and so forth, but it's it's like a big thing. You have to make sure you use them. If you don't, you get fined. I got quite a big fine uh, just for using How the wrong packet. How much was your fine? Um, essentially, it was 200,000 won. How much is that in US dollars? 180? 180 US dollars. 180 US dollars, yes. Because of receipts have your name on it or something? Yeah, so obviously, some of my trash had my address on and I had some package, packages delivered and that was there. But besides that, there's a lot of CCTV. In my actual street, there's cameras specifically for trash. So make sure you get the correct packets. So I had to buy a compost bin for my own food, which is cool because I've always wanted to compost. Every two or three days, I'll come and collect it. I'm vegan, so you know, for you, you probably have like meat in yours, yes. right? And like bones and stuff. Mine I is usually- bones. I usually eat the meat. Sometimes I eat the bones, depends on the day. Okay. <laughs> and anyways, I'm so used to using a key to get into my house, right? And like when I was living in Chicago, I'd always just have to make sure that my key was like in my bag. But here, you don't have to worry about that because they have keypads everywhere. Also, in my apartment, I have a code for outside, like to get into the building, and then I have a code for the uh, my actual apartment to get in, inside. What tends to happen to, with me is when I am away from home for quite a while, like if I go on vacation, and I come home, I blank out, I forget what the code is. I feel like this is really rare in America, maybe rich people have this, but heated floors is like something that is so uncommon to me. My house is like, it starts from 11 p.m. and it ends at 9 a.m. and I can control like how much heat I want coming out of my floor. But I don't know if you've experienced this, but it, it takes like some time to warm up, like maybe yeah. an hour or two yeah, yeah. when you first put it on. Yeah. The water heats up very quickly. The floors, they do tend to take like roughly an hour or so, mm -hmm. yeah. And they quite, and it's quite cheap. From from my perspective, it's quite cheap as opposed to like a gas bowl or, or an electric bowl, you know, from South Africa. I have to hang dry my clothes, so mm. I have a separate room that is where like my washing machine is. I have this huge rack hanging from my ceiling. Growing up, I didn't have that. Did you have something like that? Uh, yeah. Well, we used to hang our clothes. Well, we still do. We hang our clothes outside. You know, get that fresh breeze going through the clothes, you know, when you put it on, you know, it smells like wind. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's nice, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you're from South Africa or any place that hangs their clothes outside, you know that when it starts raining, you gotta make that 100 meter dash, get the clothes off the line. Uh, fortunately, in Korea, you don't have to do that. Most likely, as Samantha said, you're going, going to be hang drying, and it's most likely going to be inside your apartment. For me, in America, all you have to do is just switch on the stove. But for here, you have to turn on the gas. So it's like its own separate pipe attached to the wall. So that's something new for me. Yeah. And make sure your apartment is always clean or that you don't have any weird stuff going on because a random gas lady will just rock up 
just to check if there's no gas leaks. I've been caught unawares a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. The windows over here have like three or four different layers. You can't just open a window. Like you gotta slide one, slide another one, slide another one, and then there's like a mesh. When it comes to setting up accounts on apps and stuff, it yeah. can be like a lot because there's a lot of steps to like auth authenticating your account. It'll take me like hours trying to translate from like Papago, screenshotting the page and then going to the next page and then bring it back to Papago, screenshotting that, like reading it in English. If you do have like a Korean that can help you, that goes a long way yeah. because I can spend hours, like days, you know, constantly yeah. trying to figure it out. And then there'll even be things where they'll call you mm -hmm. and then you don't know Korean, so yeah. what are you supposed to do? <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. Something very simple becomes very tedious yeah but I'll give you a tip though just remember like for me my biggest issue is my name so um, the mm -hmm. Koreans obviously use uh, Hangul the Korean language and um, it's very the naming convention is very simple right so they have the family name first name second name right so South Africa we start with our name first middle name surname sometimes I would just fill in my name in an app or whatever I'm registering on and it wouldn't work uh, and I'd be so confused and all it would be is that I would just have to start with my surname right and then it goes even further sometimes where you have to put everything in in, in all caps primar primarily because the Koreans don't have capital letters or lowercase letters or when you register for anything that you're going to be registering for just stick to one set convention though so Naver, Kakao all of these apps are connected in some way or the other so if you have Kakao chat for example and you connect to Kakao Pay it's all set up the same way. They use the same naming convention. So if you put in a different name, your accounts might not link. Today for me, it was trying to get soccer tickets. It was just like you had to use one app, which is called Payco, in order to buy the tickets. It has to be your account and registered with like a card. Then you have to authenticate that card. Mm -hmm. So it's just like sorry, I'm a making a note to buy soccer tickets. <laughs> My culture shock here coming in was hard. Mm. So just be prepared for a lot of different changes that you're not used to. Yeah. And even with like your living accommodations like we talked about. Yeah. It can be a lot when you first come in. Being here for a year, we just got adjusted to things we do like and we don't like. Yeah. So come expecting that everything is going to be different. Mm -hmm. And you'll be fine. Like you'll adjust much quicker. If you come here and you find fault with everything, your time is going to be miserable. If you subscribe, that'll be great. If you like this video, video. that'll be great. But Give even better. Up. Even better, send money. Money is best. Yeah, it is, it is. Send it. You know? <laughs> send it. Don't be shy. What are don't you going to do with your share of the money? What am I going to do with my share? First, I'm going to buy soccer tickets. If you don't send us money, use your money to buy a ticket to Korea. It's a lovely place. Come through, enjoy it. At least experience it once. At least. Thanks for sticking until the end. If you have more questions, put them in the comments. Check out the description for some more details. Stay tuned for the next video of us talking about cultural differences we've encountered. I think Tinder is more popular Tell us about than your dating life, Sam. How is it going? In Korea, have you had good success or no success?